Hi everybody, it is December 30, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for leaving the link to this documentary, The Panama Deception, underneath one of my videos. Uh, if you want to watch more American atrocities being committed, well, in this instance in Panama, click on the link below in the description box underneath this video. Yeah, we have clearly uh, lived of delusion in denial of the evil that we are. And well, delusion and denial can be a very, very dangerous, dangerous thing. The danger, it can come home to roost. Oh, wait, it has. I want to play just a few um, minutes of this video and see if you pick up on what is said, if it reminds you of something that we recently saw. used Panama as a testing ground for newly developed high-tech weapons, such as the stealth fighter, the Apache attack helicopter, and laser-guided missiles. There are also reports that can't be explained indicating the use of experimental and unknown weaponry. Nosotros tenemos testimonio de personas combatientes we have testimony about combatants who died literally melted with their guns as a result of a laser. We know of automobiles that were cut in half by these lasers of atrocities committed by weapons that fire poison darts which produce massive bleeding. I think there's a high probability that there was a, a use of sophisticated weaponry merely to test it. Ramsey Clark, former U.S. Attorney General, has conducted extensive research into the invasion. Uh, above all, though, there was um, a use beyond any conceivable necessity of just sheer firepower. Just an excessive use of force uh, beyond any possible justification. President Bush wanted to make certain that this was going to be a success. This was going to be his vindication, a, a denial of the wimp factor in spades. So they sent down a force that wasn't going to encounter any effective resistance, would simply overwhelm the opposition, and the fact that it would cause tremendous peripheral damage, damage to innocent civilians in, on a wide scale, was not of concern in the planning. Wow, not of concern in the planning. I will say that what we have been doing all over the world has not been much of a concern with the American people as well. I am talking about the American people on the whole. On the whole means the large majority, not every American. So, what did you hear? this man say. Died literally melted with their guns as a result of a laser. We know of automobiles that were cut in half by these lasers of... Automobiles cut in half by lasers. Oh, cut in half. And this is supposed to be due to a wildfire. When, when the reality becomes so obvious and you have the majority of the people in your country denying that reality, they become the enemy. They are part of the destruction, the suffering, the destroying of people's lives. They become complicit and there's no wiggle room when it becomes so obvious that something is very wrong and still you have American people who cannot respond appropriately 
because they're living in denial. They don't want to look at the truth. So when you're living a lie, you cannot respond appropriately to anything. Tragedy is beyond comprehension. The tragedies that have been taking place over the years in this country, with more and more Americans being murdered, children being murdered, lives being destroyed. And still, you know, we can't figure out how to fight this evil, nor can we figure out how to help those who have been destroyed. A town was taken out in 24 hours, paradise. Those homes left to dust. Obvious in looking at many of the areas where those homes were leveled to dust, all of that, the porcelain, the toilets, the sinks, everything, gone in 24 hours. And there's evidence that there was no forest fire getting into those neighborhoods. Evidence of the directed energy weapons now being used. Well, yeah, those weapons that the evil use, they will be brought home used against those people who live in denial. Um, if bombs were dropping, if bullets were flying past our face, we would know that we would, we were at war and we would stand united and fight against it. We're living a war, unconventional, they using weapons, weather as a weapon, directed energy weapons that are splitting homes right there, smack in your face. Something's very wrong, and that should awaken all people. But it awakens people who have a brain and who are healthy. Human beings, those who refuse to see the truth because the truth is just too upsetting. They're all about themselves and they are living their life. And fuck you, do not bring the truth to me. Many are responding with that kind of hostility. They become your enemy and they are killing all of us. directed energy weapons used way longer than the Iraq war. Yeah, we pick our test sites for our new weaponry. No, I do not support our military. No, I do not support our troops. It's time we grow up, face the truth, and look at how we are living our life. It does not matter that you are following orders. If you commit the evil, you committed the evil. You don't get to absolve yourself by simply saying, I was following orders. Ciao.